The battle for the right to harvest beached whales has already begun and is lodged with the Treaty of Waitangi Flora and Fauna claim. We'd like our tinaranga tinaranga of the entire whaling process. If it landed and it was edible and it was safe, we'd do, we'd, we'd do the, the, the um, full um, flensing and preparation for kai and the distributed distribution to marae. Then we'd use the bones and we'd use the oils and we'd use parts of the um, organs for other products, rongoa, um, nutraceuticals, body, um, body anointments. There was not one piece wasted at all. And we we looking for the day we return to that, and it will come. When do you see that happening? Quite, quite soon, actually. Uh, in my time, today, um, we're relegated to taking bones and teeth and a bit of baleen, and that's quite an, uh, offensive to our tikanga and our kawa. And over the next two or three days, having extracted the jaw, explained, I'd like to take each of those teeth and individually carve them and distribute them, among, them amongst whānau so that the whale starts living amongst the law of each whānau, amongst the tikanga of each whānau, so that each whānau will have a story but the teeth then they'll find it comes from a jaw that belongs to a sperm whale and that arrived here in, in such a fashion so many years ago so it becomes living. And because we start using and living and breathing the tikang of the whale, and they'll keep coming. I think if we're going to be killing everything because it's going to bring us in money, then we're looking at the wrong side of us. Do you see Māori as leading the way? Well, I, I think we're one of the more noisier groups. And because we get up and stand on our rights and, and um, very vocal about our rights and strident. Um, other indigenous people that are, are, um, are more ambient and more um, passive um, ask us to speak on their behalf. And we do. Have you had people express their anger yes. towards you? Yes. What do they say? That we're killers, that we've got no guts, that we're commercial, uh, that we're, we've rolled over. Have you rolled over? I think we've gone stronger. I think we're the solution. I think New Zealand is in a new Ze uh, unique place to be that solution. And with the expertise of uh, Sir Geoffrey and others, um, I think we can drive a solution. Jody Ihaka with that story. And a reminder that the International Whaling Commission's conference starts a week from now in Agadir, Morocco.